footy fans to another great weekend because the Blues have managed to get another win on the board following a nice narrow victory over the Crows on the weekend. We can sit back for the next few days and relax a little bit because we've actually got over a major hurdle. We've come back from the draw with a four points win and it was bloody vital as far as the season goes. These games we win at early parts of the season are really going to make it a lot easier for us as the year goes on because it's going to get a lot harder to win as teams start to find form. The Suns have had their first victory over the Power. Bit of a shock for the Power. I thought the Power would win that game. I mean, the Suns had to win a game eventually. And they're all going on about, you know, how bad were the Power. And it's great to see the history in the making where the Suns have got their first win on the board. The thing is, the Suns were always going to get a victory this year. They weren't going to lose all the time. And that comes to the point of what I really want to get to. The last two years where footy has been basically in retirement have been a lot to do with because I've lost track of how footy's played these days. The game today is a lot more strategic. It's not that same great get out there like I grew up with, rush at it. Some teams are much better than others and are always going to win. They're going to win by 20 goals, 25 goals, 10 goals, 15 goals. It's not like that. The competition is now designed to be a lot more even. With the draft picks and all that sort of favourite, you look at the current media and the amount of statistics that are in on each game, each player's stats, each forward line stats, each back line stats, each midfield stats. Even today's paper, there's a different review on the most important stats of the game and why some teams are performing and why other teams aren't performing. It has taken me a while to get a grasp of that and actually get back into following and understanding the current way that football is played. Carlton will no longer get out there and dominate teams, as we used to in the 70s and the 80s. We still will become good, but eventually we'll start to peak and we'll start to lose down. That's how the draft system works. It gives every team a chance to get up to a peak and play in the finals, and then they slowly wear their way down as experience and time takes its toll on the players. You can't buy premierships as we used to. <laughs> Those good old days are oh, well and truly gone, but we managed to play ourselves back and we've got the experience on the board now. And I understand how this game works a little bit better now. Last night against the Crows, 19 points in the game. There was two quarters, the second and third, where we had a great dose of what they call the yips in front of the goals. I don't believe that. The game has changed. It's not set shots. It's rush shots. It's hurried shots. It's fast shots. Off the run, having a crack at the goal. The thing is, we're scoring. We're kicking at the goals. So what if we get points? We kept ourselves in the game. We kept in attack. The Crows didn't manage to get back in front and score goals on the rebound from those points which is one of the major stats that was talked about in the paper today. It's about your clearances and the points received from clearances that actually make one of the major statistical differences in successful teams and non-successful teams. I don't understand, I don't really care. I just like the Blues and that's all I want to see is the Blues winning games. But what we're getting back to here is we kick the points, but we manage to score. And it's about kicking goals that win just games of football. If we can just keep piling on these shots and keep kicking at goals that are handballing around and trying to get better options and longer options and turning the ball over the handball without even having a shot, that is bad football. Good football is having a crack. So what if we get points? Eventually we're going to kick a pile of goals while we do it, and we'll get five goals, six goals, ten goal wins. It's about accuracy in front of the goals, about kicking under the pressure. The game's a lot faster. Even on the run today, compared to ten years ago, twenty years ago, the players aren't as free and they don't have as much space. Football is far more controlled now. The players don't get a chance to get loose in the paddock. That all stops the free, open space game of football that I grew up with. And it's taken me a long time to get used to it. But now I see how we've turned our way around the corner in the last five years. We're starting to get the results. The players have got the score. It's the a swan that's not going to be easy either. I've faced up to that. I'm still as arrogant as ever. I'm still as confident as ever that the Blues will make the finals and will do really well. I'm as hopeful and as positive as I can possibly be this season because I've seen the results on the board. We managed to come back over a game where two seasons ago, three seasons ago, we would have lost last night against the Crows. But this time, we held on and we were the ones who got the four points. Next week against the Swanee, it's time to put another nail in someone else's coffin. And all I can say is, as footy head, go you Blues and bring on September!